at 158 bucks for this lens, you will definitely not go wrong. Thanks again for tuning back into the channel. In this week's video, we are going to be doing a gear review and namely the Viltrox 20mm f2.8 and in this case for the Sony E-mount, also available in Nikon Z-mount. Now for clarity in this video, Viltrox sent me this through to review and provide this video and they do not know what I'm going to say about the lens. The lens is small, compact and lightweight and it's an actual joy to use. You don't notice it on your camera at all. Admittedly, I'm a Viltrox fan and I had quite a few Viltrox lenses for the Z7 II when I had that camera. And the quality of the Viltrox lenses and the glass is really, really good considering everything else that's available in the market. And that's why I'm a big fan of the lenses. Yes, they are prime lenses. They don't do zoom lenses. I would love to see a zoom lens from Viltrox. But I digress. Let's go back to this 20 mil. 158 bucks for a very, very sharp lens. I'm sure the first thing you're thinking of is a lens at that price, is it going to be sharp? Well, as you can see by the images here, these are all single shots, or both the images you're going to see are single shots. And you can see the sharpness. You can see towards the very edges, it gets a little softer. But this, this one image here, this was shot at F9 and it's handheld as well so that one works great and this image here this i thought would be the best way to look at this yes prime lenses are going to be sharper but 158 bucks the quality that this lens produces is really 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 good and i definitely would consider getting one for your camera bag at that price, you're not going to lose, even if you only use the lens occasionally. It's a stunning lens. It's absolutely, I was really, really surprised. I'll be honest, because of the price, I would not have considered this lens. Now, this was the sleeper of 2023 for Viltrox. And I don't know whether that was because at the price, everybody thought that's just a cheap lens. It's not going to be any good. And maybe that's the case for it. If you're wondering how good the lens is for a walked off video, it's actually really, really good. I haven't tried it moving around, but for a walked off video, you're watching it right now. So you can see there the eye tracking, everything is working with it. It's, it's one of these surprise lenses. It's the best way of putting it. As I say, I'm well done Viltrox for this lens and I'm blown away by the results that I'm getting from it. I haven't taken it out on a meaningful shoot yet, as in I haven't went out and thought, right, okay, I need to get this image, I need to get it in this light, and blah, 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 everything like that. I haven't done that yet, but for the images it's produced for me, I now know where it's weakest, and I now know where it's best. And even at f2.8, it's a stunning lens. Center sharpness is brilliant. I took it a lot of the times into the woods because I do a lot of woodland photography as well. And that I thought would probably be one of the best areas to test it out, just to see how it copes with everything that's going on in the woodlands. And again, it's been absolutely fantastic. I'm really surprised. I'd it's one of these lenses that, you, to be honest, you don't know what to say about it. You've got to try it to see how good it is. And it genuinely is. It's a good, strong lens. The body of the lens is plastic. Uh, it's a solid plastic lens. So, and it doesn't contain any image stabilization. But I did manage for some images to get down, thanks to the in-body stabilisation of the Sony, I get down to a 15th of a second, but I was comfortably shooting at a 25th of a second for a few of the shots. And even at that, that was leaning in precarious situations where normally you would put a tripod to get the shot, 
but I was able to do it handheld and the lens held up to that. It allowed me to shoot at a 25th of a second and it returned really, really decent images. The biggest surprise is the cost. I would expect this to be around 300 bucks to be honest because of the quality of images that it produces it's available on the nikon z mount and it's also available on the sony full frame e mount now all the images that you've seen in this video they've just been walk about carry this around take some shots see how the lens performs where is it weak as i've said where is it strongest and it performed all the way through so it's the best I can see, and it's maybe not a, such a thorough review, but from the point of view that at f2.8, it's a great lens. At f16, it's a great lens. The only weakness, and I'm trying to overemphasize the weakness of it, is at the corners, because the lens performs admirably throughout all the f-stops. And... I would be nitpicking. No, it's not weather sealed. 158 bucks. Wouldn't expect it. It doesn't have image stabilization. Again, at 158 bucks, I wouldn't expect it. But if you're thinking of a wide angle lens, 20 mil f 2.8, you definitely will not go wrong with this lens. I can't say anything negative about it. I can just tell you how it is. So I hope from this review that it's a walkabout. I took shots, I've showed you the shots. I've taken more than I've shown you on this video because I've had the lens for a wee while now, but it's it performs brilliantly and you definitely won't go wrong with this lens in your camera bag. I would really consider this lens. I would definitely really consider this lens. And if you only use it occasionally, it's still a well spent 158 bucks. I know this might seem an over the top review of how good this lens is and it does A, B, C and it does it all so well. It actually just does. And for the cost of the lens, that's the surprise. You wouldn't expect this quality from this price of lens. Thanks again for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Right, let's have a go at this. Three, two, one.